Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. Uh, don't be shocked to see me after a very long time. Actually, I wanted to give you all as fast as possible, but because of my ill health, I had to delay it. Anyhow, before starting the subject, I wanted to tell you all two things. One, I am very grateful to you people that we have crossed or we are reaching 17,000 subscribers. I am talking about your channel, it is not my channel. And the second thing, I wanted to say thanks to each and every subscriber who helped me in holding my hand and walking through the study till now. Without your support, definitely, it would, it would have been tough for me, but now I feel happy that there are people who can take me through to the subject. Okay? Now today, I wanted to give you all a beautiful subject. Say, Dani Astrology, and uh, as I have written here, it is matchmaking destined spouse. Yeah, it will be something new for you. Because everyone is after telling the horoscopes. Either in the softwares or through the astrologers. Wherever you go, you try to tally. Yes, of course, I agree. Because even the tally is 100% true. There is no flaw in that. Tallying is perfect. And of course, you need a tallying because it tells us about the sexual compatibility will be there and also about the Sri Viga which is the wealth development after after the marriage and almost all Nadi, Dina, whatever, almost all that 10 quotas you will have 36 points and you have to get at least 18 fine I want to ask you all one question every parent every parent before getting a son or daughter married they go to an astrologer with number of horoscopes or charts and try to tally either for their son or for their daughter. And uh, astrology has one system, beautiful system, that the stars of the boy and the girl, bride and bridegroom, should have certain set of parameters and if they cross that then it is fit for marriage. Yes, agreed. My question is, even though the parents go to the astrologer or parents go, uh, I mean, search in the softwares also for matching purposes, matching of a girl and boy charts or the stars, whatever it is, why immediately after marriage or within a short period, there are so many diverse cases which will crop up? The, the people have taken utmost care in getting the charts of the children tallied. They will also check about the whereabouts of the person or whatever it is. They will try to do whatever is possible in their hands and then get ready for the wedlock. Or agree, they agree for the marriage part of it. But still, it will not succeed. Now, where the flaw is? Whether the flaw is with the stars or the flaw is with the astrologer or whether the flaw is in the astrology itself, there is no flaw anywhere. The star styling part of it is 100% true. The astrologer who guides us with his knowledge, he is also perfect. So, Everything is clear here. Everything is going up to the mark. Then, why it happens that why a married couple sometimes immediately after a few months they go into the divorce or sometimes after one or two years. So, these are the cases nowadays which is very common. It is coming to light. Yes, there is a reason. And that's why in Nadi, that's why I call it as destined spouse. That means, 
just like your education is your destiny that is also written see when once you start checking the chart from the chart you can know how the house will be how the father will be how the mother will be of course how the wife or how the husband will be so when this chart his own chart the natal chart it may be a female natal chart or a male natal chart when that tells you about your education about your nature about your house about your parents it will also tell us about the spouse so when it speaks about the spouse what is the use of tallying i don't say no tallying is a must because you will have a hundred charts nowadays it is very tough to get a boy or a girl married you will have to check a lot of charts and then come to one conclusion or whichever is the best out of it that you are going to deal for the marriage part of it what i am intending to say here is take the first opportunity of tallying the chart okay because only one particular star or a few particular stars will tally to this particular bridegroom star or bride star they just go along with stars but there is the other pattern other pattern what is that other pattern in the husband's horoscope or we'll call it in, they are now a couple husband and wife prior to it he was a male and she was a female they went into the wedlock why he has to select her only though this gentleman also received so many charms before marriage why he fell for this woman only it was not a love marriage it was an arranged marriage this is what we call it as destiny so that destiny fixes this pose for us who it may be whatever stand he may be so the destiny has already done that i ask you just to observe after going through the process of matching through stars one more glance one more glance with all the 50 charts of five charts or 10 charts or how many charts you have you will have a set of 10 charts for example you will have a set of 10 10 charts of a boy and a girl matching perfectly with more number of quotas or gunas or whatever we call it it is fine even the software says very good matching fine very good just go through this this is the study i am bringing forth to you all so that in this process you will get only one chart out of your 10 charts there will be only one chart which will be the wife or the husband how to know about that yes it is possible in not to say that this is the girl is going to marry or this is the girl who will be married to this boy or this is the boy who will be married to this girl that can be said very clearly if we know the technique of decoding these that is what i wanted to bring it in front of you so i hope just like my other videos you be but the readers or the viewers will also welcome this portion this is a little unique uh try to understand it i have come with only one couple start now it is a couple before that it was a male and a female that's all so let us begin with the destiny spouse destined spouse not destiny spouse so that's why i named this particular video or i wanted to give it this title match making destined the spouse this is the destiny for this gentleman how we can know that i will just explain it kindly for sometimes or at places i will even repeat so that nobody can miss anything there if you miss something again you have to go through once again that's all fine you should now this is a beautiful man's chart and this is a beautiful lady's chart 
Fine. Very good. Now, let us hope that these two people are not married. Later on, they were married. Fine. But now, we will assume that this is a boy's chart and this is a girl's chart. So, in a man's chart, usually I was telling you, Nadi astrology, in a man's chart, in Nadi astrology, in a man's chart, Venus is the wife. Fine. So, this is Venus, the wife. I have put a dot here. Once again, I will read. In a man's chart, in a man's natal chart, the Venus is the wife. Then who is the native? Jupiter is the native. Clear? Jupiter is the native. Venus is the wife. So no. Here, you have got a chart. Here you have got a chart of his wife. Now she is wife. Earlier nothing. We don't know who they are. We have got two charts. When in a man's chart, Venus is the wife. Okay? And this is the female chart. The wife's chart. Who is the native? Again, Jupiter will be the native. Fine. For every chart, Jupiter is the native. Clear? And for a wife, Mars is the husband. I put a dot here. Mars is a husband. Venus is a wife. Okay? Please don't get confused. I will try to take as slowly as possible. So, <clears throat> what type of a husband she should get? This type of a husband, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the husband's chart. He should get a chart of this lady. Now, where is this lady? Fine. When I take Venus, I will call her the wife in case of the male chart. Clear? Jupiter is the male. Here, Jupiter is the female. Mars is the husband, male. Clear? In a husband's chart, slowly I am doing it again. In a husband's chart, Venus, the wife, in a second house, has Sun and Mercury. Clear? One point. Because the more number of points, thus that marriage will be perfect. That is the one which is suited and that is the one which is going to go ahead for marriage. So, Venus has in a second house Sun and Mercury. This is the chart of the male. Jupiter is the native. Venus is the wife. Venus has Sun and Mercury. Now, in this lady's chart, where is the female? Jupiter. And you just see, Jupiter's second house, Mercury and Sun are there. This is the beauty of combination. These things come out just like a one rupee coin. One rupee, one, one dollar, or whatever you call it. Different cents are there, different coins are there. Whatever coins, it has two faces. So, one face is this and one face is husband. When you check Venus for a wife, after the Venus is house, you got Sun and Mercury. Same, Jupiter is the Venus, Jupiter is the lady, I'm sorry, Jupiter is the female. So, she has Sun and Mercury in the second house. Clear. This is one point. About second house over, let's come to third house. Fine. So, Venus is the wife, Venus third house, Saturn and Moon are there. From Venus third house, Saturn and Moon are there. Here, Jupiter, Jupiter third house, Jupiter is the wife, third house, Saturn is aspecting. 
here Saturn is there, but here Saturn is aspecting. Fine. Saturn and the moon. Yes, that same moon is in trinal to Saturn. Clear. This is about the third house. Of course, you will not get exact fitment, but you will get among the 12 house points at least 7 8 points you will get if you miss one house next house something like that we will go to the next house venus the wife third house over third house lord is with mars third house lord is with mars venus the wife venus is third house from the wife third house that lord is with mars now you see the fun jupiter's third house is venus's house there mars is sitting down there that is the beauty vice versa clear i know i am sure it is hard to understand in the beginning but by the time i end my video you will find some senses here and there linking together after that you are going to try for yourself and find more number of charts beautifully tally. Let us go ahead. Third house over. Two things I told you. In the third house Saturn, this is Venus and the same lady. This is the husband's wife. Now here Jupiter is the wife. Jupiter is the female star. Jupiter is the native and I mean uh, wife is the native uh, for the wife. Jupiter is the native. So from there third house is aspected by Saturn. Saturn is sitting down here. And the third house lord is there with Mars. Venus's third house lord is there with Mars. Here, Jupiter's third house, Venus's house, Mars is sitting there. This is one more point clear. Fourth house. Now, Venus's fourth house, you have got, we cannot take Jupiter. Fourth house lord is with Venus. Right? Venus is fourth house lord Mars is there with Venus. Now when we want to see the Venus, wife's chart, we have to catch hold of Jupiter. Because he is the native, he is the native brother. Jupiter's fourth house lord Mercury. Once again, once again, I have got something has happened. Mars is there with Venus. Uh, Venus's fourth house lord is there with Venus. And uh, Jupiter's fourth house lord is there. Where, ah, Jupiter's fourth house lord is there in Mars's house. Venus's fourth house is Mars's house. Here, Jupiter's fourth house lord is there in Mars's house. This is one combination. Okay, fifth house. We will go to fifth house. Venus, the wife. This is the male chart. This is the wife. Fifth house is Jupiter's house. Who is aspecting the fifth house? Venus and Mars. And who else will be there? No one is there. Jupiter with Ketu. Here, Venus, the wife's fifth house lord, is there in the fourth house with Ketu. But here, Jupiter, Venus is the wife, Jupiter is the native. Jupiter's fifth house lord is in fifth, but Trinal aspect of Rahu is there. On one case you got the tail, on the other case you got the head. This is how they interchange. Fine. Venus is sixth house lord. The wife's sixth house lord, Saturn, is with the moon in Venus's house. Now Jupiter's sixth house lord. Sun is there in Mars's house. Right? And this sixth house, Venus's sixth house is having a trinal aspect of Sun and Mercury. Lord point we did not get. But sixth house is aspected by Sun and Mercury. When Venus the wife is having an aspect of Sun and Mercury, Towards the sixth house, here the sixth house lord, Sun and Mercury are in 
Marxismus. Sixth house, Venus is sixth house, is aspected by Sun and Mercury, and it is in Venus's house. At the same time, Jupiter's sixth house lord is there, is Sun, again, is Sun. This sixth house is aspected by Sun, the lord is Sun, sixth house lord is Sun. This is one point, you can minus it also, if you don't, if you don't considerably accept it. Seventh house, Lord. Venus is seventh house. The wife, seventh house. Saturn and Moon are in trinal. Wife, seventh house. Saturn and Moon are in trinal. Now you see the fun. Jupiter is the wife. Jupiter, seventh house. Lord is sun. In one case, if you see, Saturn is aspect in the seventh house. Just like Trinal aspect of Saturn and Moon towards the seventh house of Venus, husband's wife. Same time, the natal, native, Jupiter, wife's chart, Jupiter is the native. Seventh house, Lord is aspected by Saturn's retrograde Saturn. Or when you keep this here, it aspects the seventh house. This is it. 8th house. 8th house is with Ketu. Here also, Jupiter's 8th house. Venus, this is the wife of this gentleman. Now she is a wife. Before marriage, this gentleman's chart says that the wife's 8th house either should be with Ketu or here the wife's um, yeah, the wife's eighth house is aspected by Jupiter or Ketu, likewise. Now here, Jupiter is the native, wife is the, I mean, uh, this is the wife's chart. Before that, she was a lady. This eighth house is with Rahu, eighth house Lord is with Rahu. Here the eighth house is aspect. So in one case, it is Ketu and Jupiter having a trident. Here, Rahu and Jupiter, a reversal case. Let us move to the ninth house. All these things are we are holding and checking with the boy's chart. Later on, we will come again to the girl's chart. There also, I will try to prove the same things. Same number of points only will come true. Then we come to one decision that these are the people who are fit for marriage and this is the only girl who is going to come into his life. That one particular decision, that one perfect decision, we can take it or we can have that decision with the help of this study. Okay? Fine. Now, Venus's ninth house is Leo, is in Leo. Venus's ninth house is aspected by Venus is 9th house is aspected by trinal Mars. Okay. Let's see here. This is the male chart, the wife. Wife should have 9th house Lord with her or 9th house is aspected by Saturn and Moon or 9th house is aspected by trinal Mars and Venus. Now let's come to here. Jupiter, the lady, native. Jupiter 7th, 8th, 9th. In Jupiter, 9th house we got Saturn. Here, 9th house was aspected by Saturn. Here, Jupiter's 9th house we have Saturn. Jupiter, 9th house Lord is Venus's house. Here, Venus's 9th house Lord is it with Venus. Fine. Jupiter's 9th house Lord Mars is in Venus's house. Here, Venus is ninth house lord. Wife's ninth house lord is with Venus. It is in Venus's house. This is with Venus. This is one more. Now, next. The boy, the wife. Wife, Venus, 7, 8, 9, 10. In the 10th house. It is Venus's house. Rahu is there. Who are aspecting it? 
Trine and Sun and Mercury are there. Jupiter is aspecting it. Clear? Now come, let's come here. Sun and Mercury in Trine to the 10th house to Venus. 7, 8, 9, 10th. This is the husband chart. We are seeing what are the combinations from the Venus. That is, would be wife. So the wife, now it's the wife. Before this, she was a girl. The native is Jupiter. When we check the 10th house from Venus in a male chart, now we will check because Jupiter is the female, Jupiter is the native, 10th house. And exactly as it is here, this 10th house is in trinal to Mercury and Sun. Here the trinal Mercury and Sun are there. For this Mer Mercury and Sun are in trinal to Sagittarius, Danus. Because Danus is the 10th house from Jupiter. Vrishab is the 10th house from Venus in a male chart. Clear? This is tallied. 11th house. When we come to the 11th house, from the male chart, 11th house Lord is in the second house. 11th house is aspected by trinal Saturn and Moon. Boy chart. Same old dialogue. Venus the wife, 11th house, trinal aspect of Saturn and Moon. Clear. Now, Venus, uh, sorry, Jupiter, the native female chart, 11th house. Here I said 11th house as a trinal Saturn and Moon aspect. At the same time, this is the 11th house. Sam, moon is aspecting. And Saturn also has an aspect. Clear? Even if you put it here, Saturn and moon both will aspect. This is finally 12th house. 12th house. This is the boy, the wife. Venus, the lady, the girl, Jupiter, the need. Jupiter 12th house is moon. Jupiter 12th house is aspected by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Jupiter and Ketu. Jupiter 12th house, I mean, Venus is 12th house is moon. Venus 12th house is aspected by Jupiter and Ketu trinum. Now, here Venus over, Jupiter 12th house, Saturn is aspected by Jupiter and Rahu trinal. Does this make any sense? Yes, surely it does. But in the beginning, because already most of you people have learned so many things and to take this into confidence, it takes time. Either you have to work on charts and get to one conclusion and then you may believe it. But because I have done that, my part of that job is over. So, I am sure this is the way you can easily know that this is the girl for this boy, vice versa. This is the boy for this girl. Very fast I will finish with this wife. Now from here I will check. No, first, the first attempt was a boy's chart, Venus. Now here, girl's chart, Jupiter will take importance and from Mars I will run the shoe. From Mars I will run the shoe. <coughs> See, Mars is the husband. Just like I was concentrating on Venus here, now I am concentrating only on Mars. That Mars, this is the first house of whatever it is. So, Jupiter's first house lord, this is the native, this is the boy, this is the husband. Mars is in Venus's house. Okay? And the lord of the first house is with Venus. Crossed. Tell it. Here. Second house lord. 
second house lord mars is second house husband second house is aspected by retrograde saturn trinal and jupiter second house is aspected by saturn this is the husband afterwards she, he became the husband mars is the would be husband now he is the husband when you see the chart mars is second house is aspected by retrograde saturn trinal here jupiter second house jupiter is the boy second house saturn aspects third aspect clear now mars is third house moon is there Ma Ju mars is third house mars this is the husband native jupiter this is the wife i mean this is a female when she has to get an husband mars the husband should have a moon in third house here jupiter's third house lord is with the moon this is one next mars is fourth house in mars's house mars's fourth house lord is in mars's house without any aspect jupiter's fourth house lord is aspected by mars jupiter's husband mars is the husband here this is the chart of a lady and mars is the husband mars is fourth house fourth house lord is in mars's house but here Jupiter's fourth house is aspected by Mars. This is one thing. Fifth house. Fifth house Ketu is there. Fifth house Lord is there with Sun. Jupiter's fifth house. This is the husband. This is the Jupiter is the native. Mars is the husband. Her husband's fifth house Ketu must be there, or Jupiter should aspect. Same thing. Husband is Jupiter. Fifth house is aspected by Jupiter. Trinal Ketu. This is also one more beautiful point. Clear. Mars's sixth house is aspected by Sun and Mercury, and uh, apart from that, nobody is there. Now here, sixth house. Sixth house. It. Uh, one second. One second. Mars's uh, sixth house lord, Venus. Uh, Mars's sixth house. No, 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 no. Mars is sixth house. Uh, he is there with Jupiter. So Jupiter's sixth house is as sixth house Lord is aspecting Jupiter. I'm sorry, I'll repeat on again. I don't get confused. Mars is sixth house Lord. Venus, one, two, three, four, five, six. Libra. Venus is with Jupiter, but Jupiter's sixth house Lord is with Venus. And also aspects Jupiter. This is one. Mars is seventh house Lord. Saturn is there in the seventh house, and the Moon trinal aspect. Jupiter seventh house Lord. Uh, Mars is seventh house Lord. Venus is aspecting. Jupiter seventh house Lord. Venus. Is, ah, I'm sorry. Once again, Jupiter. Uh, this is the lady chart. Jupiter is the native. Mars is the husband. Mars is seventh house Lord is there in Venus zones. Jupiter seventh house Lord is there with Mars. This is one beauty. Now eighth house Lord. Mars is eighth house Lord. Husband's eighth house. Uh, who is aspecting? No one. Eighth house Lord is with Rahu. And uh, one second, one second. Mars Mars is eighth house. Uh, Saturn, Sun and Mercury. Mars is eighth house is trinal to Sun and Mercury. Here, Jupiter is eighth house. Jupiter seven and eighth house Lord. Jupiter eighth house Lord is with Sun. Mars is eighth house Lord. Is Mars is eighth house Lord. Is Mars is eighth house Lord. Eighth house is aspected by Mercury and Sun. Jupiter's eighth house Lord is there with Sun. This is how it has to come. Okay. Now ninth house, Mars, the husband, Jupiter, the native. S seven, eight, nine. Ninth house Lord. Husband's ninth house Lord, Saturn. Jupiter, ninth house Lord, Moon. So the same Moon, ninth house Lord is there with Saturn. The same uh, Mars is ninth of Saturn 
is having tidal pool. This is one more combination. Ten thousand husbands, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand Lord. Again, moon trinal, trinal to Rahu and Jupiter. Seven, eight, nine, ten thousand Lord. Venus is there in that ten thousand and um, nine thousand Mars. Ten thousand Rahu and Venus are there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten thousand Lord. Mars, Venus is there in the ten thousand. And uh, moon is aspecting it here. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nobody is aspecting it. Ten thousand Lord is it? Mercury. Ten thousand Lord is aspected by Sun and Mercury. So Jupiter's ten thousand Lord, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten thousand Lord is there with Mercury. Here Mars is seven, eight, nine, ten thousand Lord. Saturn is aspected by Sun and Mercury. When it is retrograde, we are going to put it here. So Saturn and Mercury. Okay, this is the aspect. Eleventh Mars is eleventh of Lord Jupiter, Venus and Rahu. Um, Jupiter's eleventh of Lord. Mars is eleventh of Lord is aspected by Saturn. Jupiter's eleventh of Lord is aspected by Rahu, trinal Rahu. Here, fifth. This is Mars is eleventh of with Rahu. This is with Rahu, and here Mars is uh, Jupiter's. Mars is the husband, eleventh of Jupiter Rahu. Jupiter is the husband, native, and eleventh of Mercury is aspected by trinal Rahu. Twelfth of Mars is twelfth of. Here Jupiter is twelfth of. Jupiter twelfth of Lord is with Mars. Mars is twelfth of Lord in Venus's house. I'm sorry, Jupiter is twelfth of Lord. Uh, is Venus with Mars here? Mars is twelfth house lot. Is Mars in Venus's house? So I was a little fast. I am sorry for that. But I hope you will or you would have understood at least a little bit of it. If not much, anyhow, what best I could do? Of course, I don't you know. I got some breathing problems, and uh, with all this. I wanted to give you all this today, and I'm happy. Uh, on this day, I could uh, make it come through, and uh, this is the way. Usually, I find a child, which is the only one which will get along for the marriage. Ah, don't ask me whether they are going to be happy ever after. No marriages are happy. Because marriage in the first place it, it is a union of two minds. It takes time. At least if a couple live for five or six years, after that they will find individuals' uh, characters or attitudes interchange. Then they will feel happiness. They will let go of things. But in the beginning it will be a tough issue. Okay. And about this divorce is known. When you match or when you pick up for matching. The husband's chart will show you whether there is divorce there, or the girl's chart will show you whether there is divorce. With that, you can take caution. You cannot take any caution. You can just hint them. You can just give them an idea that this may happen. That's all. Okay. Anyhow, thanks for being with me, and uh, uh, I hope God will give me more strength to be with you all for some more. Videos, and once again, I would like to say thanks to individually to all my subscribers who have pulled me with them throughout my videos. Without you, I wouldn't have been staying this long in the media. Thank you, and bye.